Well, we want to change our split rings, we want to change our trebles for whatever reason. They're rusty, the hook point's turned over, it's snapped off, whatever, it happens. So it pays to have a selection of split rings and also trebles in your tackle box. You're only gonna need a few sizes for the lures that you generally use most, and it may save your day. Imagine getting into a hot bite, you wanna change a treble on your favorite lure or the lure that the color that's really working, and you can't do it because you don't have any. Doesn't take much, pretty cost effective to go down and buy a couple of different sizes. Now, how do we choose the size and how do we choose the gauge? Well, you'll find that the manufacturers will bring out a size and a gauge to suit that lure and to make that lure completely balanced and swim correctly, suspend or rise or do what it's supposed to do. So you need to match that back up again. It's rare that you can put a super heavy treble back on to a lure and it still perform exactly the same way. A heavy hook will change the action a little, it'll soften it up, it'll dough it a little bit and it also will make it sink if it is a suspending or a rising lure. So you must use the same gauge again and also the size. Have a look from the top there. See how those two hook points are just sticking out underneath the belly there? That is perfect. If I can't see those two hook points, it means that the treble is too small. If they're sticking right out here, it is too large. If the trebles are too large, they're gonna catch one another. The rear one is gonna catch up with the belly one. Same if the split rings are too large, that lengthens it and they will also get joined up in the midair in the cast and it's super frustrating. The split rings themselves, if you don't put the right size one on, you're gonna have issues there as well. So match that up also, because you want that treble to be able to swing freely under the belly as it's intended, and you don't wanna make it too large that it's gonna drop this belly treble down here and foul up with the tail treble. A lot of guys using singles, especially on high speed lures, not a bad idea. They're certainly not gonna affect the lure at all. It might affect the sink or the rise rate, of course, because they may be lighter, but the performance being obviously one hook as opposed to three, it's not going to soften the action. It may even enhance it just a little bit. Another really cool trick that a lot of guys are using these days, especially fishing for toothy critters, and again, high-speed stuff, land-based stuff, is using small double assist on the back because what that does is your leader is up here at the toe point. They're grabbing that and getting hooked up way back here, and it's keeping those sharp teeth away from the toe point of the lure. So whenever you're changing your trebles and your split rings, make sure that you match them up with what the manufacturer's got. Test them, make sure they're nice and sharp. Try a few little different things like assist cords and also singles. It can make a real difference on a high speed lure and also a bottom fishing lure where it doesn't get fouled up as much. So hook choice, super important. Jump into your local store, make sure you've got some spares, make sure you've got the right tools to change them because sharp, straight, correct hooks on lures catch your fish. Until next time, talk to you then.